Hello everybody and welcome back to the Scuff Baldur's Gate 3 Let's Play. It's got a lot of heart in it, okay? Anyway, I'm upset <laughs> right out the gate. Because also for one thing, why does my character portrait look like this? Like why it doesn't look like that out here? Why does it look like that in here? That's not what I wanted. Um Anyway, so I went to go look at my inspiration that I got, right? The where is it? Uh haha, the acolyte, there's no acolyte anymore. <laughs> Um, did I respect? I think I respect Gale, right? I will have to check. I was going to if I didn't. Um, Sage. I say something to the extra planner agent, and I was like, nah, okay, I haven't even talked to them yet, but alright, look at the subtext. Take up Valeria's serial killer investigation? Like, what? This is one of those spoiler texts that we get all the time in Baldur's Gate that drives me up a wall. Like, I, I didn't know it was a serial killer investigation yet. I haven't even talked to the extra planar agent yet. All we know right now is that it's a murder-suicide, and I'm suspecting it's a staged murder-suicide, but not necessarily that it's a serial killer. Tell me this after I've talked to the person who, who, who will tell me in-game what's going on. Like, maybe Valeria actually does think it's a serial killer investigation, and they're just trying to, like, lay low for a bit and, like, see what happens, you know? And they're just putting it out there that they think the case is closed, but they actually think it's a serial killer investigation. Or I'm gonna bring new data that's gonna be like, it's a serial killer. But, like, let me figure that out first without just straight up telling me and spoiling the whole thing. It's so frustrating. Anyway, so... <laughs> we should go visit... Um, the, the crypt, but first I'm going to go in the infirmary. Hello? Hello? Oh, a dead person. Hello, I can talk to that dead person. <gasps> That's Father Lord. Did he die in bed in the infirmary or did they try to save him? Can I? I don't, she probably won't like that if I do necromancy on him, huh? Yeah. What ails you? Marsh fever? Feather lung? Be quick, I've not got all day. I know you're stressed. Do I look diseased to you? What? Reckon so. What? There's something off about that was, you anyway. That was... Might be brain I rot. think it's all the blood. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a dead high priest to see to. Wait, uh... Yeah, in indeed. I'm investigating his death and have some questions. What do you want to know? You're just gonna straight up tell me? Like, I mean, I know I look very paladin-y, kind of. I don't really, actually. <laughs> I look like a necromancer, but... Maybe I have a paladin aura. Um, how did... Let's not, let's not start out with the blame game. Um, how did he die? Slowly. Logan was a good man, if naive. He deserved better. So she does seem very upset. One of the refugees killed him. Cruelly, too. They cut off his hand. Sawed right through the oh, bone. Oh, she showed me that. I found a paralytic oh, poison okay. on one of his wounds. Logan was alive while they took the hand. He just couldn't scream. It's sick. That is rough. Uh, that is really rough. We give them everything. And all we get is nothing but a good man to bury. I mean, it's not, uh, it does happen that people who are very desperate or ill in some way do terrible things, right? Not all of them, but it, it does happen. I think I watched a movie a long time ago, and I don't know how true it is necessarily, but... There's a Robin Williams movie about the him being a doctor, right? And like trying, like trying to be, like not just being like the cold clinical doctor, but like trying to like use laughter and like friendliness as like a healing method, you know, like on top of obviously medical things, but like trying to not just be like told like clinical and cold and stuff and making children laugh and like, you know, and, and helping, helping diagnose, like helping, was it like care essentially that way, like their care, you know? Um, and his assistant helps him after a while, and she does go by herself to the home of a man who's very mentally ill and kills her. Uh, because she wants to help him, but he, he does end up killing her. Um, you know, and like, I think the moral of the story is that like, he, like he, he, he feels like the Robin Williams character feels really, really terrible about it, and 
is going to give up. But it's like, just because one person did that, did something terrible, doesn't mean... Like, there's a risk always in trying to be a good person, you know? It's, it can be harder to do than to be cruel, you know, to be a good person um, or to care, you know? It can be easier to not care, um, but there is something to be said for taking, for being brave, essentially, and, like, taking that risk and doing good and realizing that not other people shouldn't suffer just because one person did something terrible, you know? You just have to try to take care, you know, like, not take an, an, unnecessary risks. If the story is true, the fact that she went to that person's home by herself is not her fault, but I think it's it's a good warning. Like, don't go by yourself <laughs> necessarily, you know? But, like, you know, she was trying to do good and it, and it didn't work out. But, again, I don't know how true that story is, but it's it's one that I, I is... The similar things happen in real life regardless, right? Where you try to do the right thing and maybe, yes, like I said, in refugee camps, they can, they can be very volatile, you know? They can't because even the regular average Joe is under an immense amount of pressure, you know? And things can get like that and just go... Just, just devolve very quickly, you know? But this is obviously, in this game, a giant setup. Please, I figured. leave me be. I've got an awful lot to Okay, so I, I'm glad I picked the question I did. Is there any way I could distract you? I guarantee you she won't want me to necromancy him. I need to distract this woman. Oakfather's blessings. Yeah, buddy, buddy old pal, I'm gonna need you. The only distraction method I know is to have you transform into a kitty cat. And meow. Alright, come on out here. There I shall be. There I shall be. Let's see. Let's go in. Can't really like block the door, huh? What to do? Can I use uh, I don't know if I can use this in time yes. mode. But I'm gonna do my best. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Let's see. Uh oh. She doesn't seem to care that I'm using necromancy. Well. Who killed you? Dwarf! Uh huh. Drift in red. Why did he kill you? This is two. The corpse remains silent. Okay. It does so not So he didn't know. state why he killed you. Um. Where were you attacked? Tunnels from the cellar. Refuge. Uh huh. Okay, that's three. What were you doing when you died? Hiding Brilgor. Oh! From Why were you hiding Brilgor? Where did you hide? I think I only have one more question. We got the how from the woman. Why were you hiding Brilgor? Must protect. Innocence. Uh -huh. will. <gasps> the spells yeah. power Okay, this is one where he was actually very questions. useful, and I wish I'd had more chances to ask more questions. Okay, so you were chill with me using necromancy? That's cool. I that's good. I'm glad. It's not over. Then through. Well, it was a good uh, idea for me to distract her, I guess. Even if it didn't end up being necessary. Is that like a spooky... Oh, that's like a spooky ghost guy. 
uh, an end to suffering. A selection of rites for the dead and dying adornless manuscript. Let the light of perpetual toleration guide your servant's wretched form from to peace. And bloody mercy, hear my prayer. Our most ardent petitions bring this soul afore your tear scorched eyes, Lord. Blink and let it pass into reverie. The poison drained, the sickness quelled, as I deliver this body from that which ailed it, I render its soul into your care. Encyclopedia! Arcane paralysis. This is more doggy than the rest. It's a common source is suckling on fizz tree blossom. Who is suckling on a fizz tree blossom? Deep monastic meditation. What? You can get arcane paralysis from deep monastic meditation? Curious mean locks, miscellaneous poisons, car carabasin's gift, chul extract, etc. Incurious mean locks. <laughs> Curative solutions, healing abjurations, lesser restoration, or restorative elixirs like general antidotes, remedial potions, etc. Fascinating. Um, boo, boo. You know what game I've been missing lately? Just in the last couple of days, it has come to me that I miss uh, Ball. Not Ball. I, I have missed Baldur's Gate. But um, Final Fantasy XII. Really good game. Yes. I'm gonna play it again. Um, let's dismiss... Maybe not. We might need him to be a distraction, so I think I might keep him as he is. Well, let's get some spoiler text. Fine. Oh, okay. Well, I'd already checked that one off for me, I guess. By speaking with the dead, we learned that the dwarf clad in red... Don't they have, like, people who can speak with the dead as, like, part of the police force? Like, that feels like a really, like, good thing to have like a like a like a nice necromancer on your police force like or on your detective force at least you know because that would maybe solve some problems but not all of them obviously because this guy he doesn't know why he was killed um like the, his killer didn't say here's why i killed you stab you know on the dwarf clad in red killed father logan you know what's funny is i think i actually saw one i say that but like that could just be me like profiling because i saw a dwarf earlier um I swear the dwarf was in red. Um, and did he say he or just they? Is this could be a woman or a man? I thought they. I thought he said. Let's see. Who killed your dwarf dressed in red? Why did I assumed it was a man? My character assumed. So either it is a man, and the game is once again just giving me information that I don't know, or my character's assumption will cause us to. Uh, be incorrectly profiling people. So, dwarf. We don't know the actual gender for sure. Uh, we need hard proof to exonerate Brilgor, however. I feel like a paladin who can do necromancy talk with the dead should be... Not that, you know, a hard proof would be, here's a name. Here's an actual person. There's a lot of dwarves that dress in red, I'm sure. We should check out the murder scene where their father Lorgan was frozen in place, which is... Because I was thinking, oh, he got his hand cut off. Is that the only way he died? Because that should be... I mean, it's a traumatic injury, but you shouldn't die from it necessarily as long as you can get the wound treated really qu uh, quickly or even just wrap it, you know? But if he was paralyzed, he would bleed out from that. Uh, Sister Rose told us that Father Lorgan's corpse was missing a hand. We should keep looking for information. Yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He used the temple crypt to hide in Pearl's Refuge. Well, we gotta go there anyway. How convenient. Uh, we should examine the crypt to learn more. The corpse of Father Logan mentioned that he and Brogo were murdered in a hidden tunnel while hiding from the fist. Because he said the innocent need to be protected. So Brilgor was getting, or they were, maybe as they somehow caught on that Brilgor was gonna be blamed for something potentially or that the fists were just being like cops you know and being like he was a former criminal so we're gonna take him in even though he hasn't done anything and they were just gonna like charge him for bygones um interesting uh, i was like cat yeah, it's helson <laughs> okay. Like, ah. okay 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 well where was the they were murdered in the crypt okay that was the crime scene uh, right. Yeah, well, can I go up here? Order of Elm. I just want to. Can I look at it? Can I read it? During the Broken God's Congregation, there's a lot of hymns about self flogging scattered throughout the tome. The place we went in Act 1 
the it was an El Mater temple, and I didn't realize that he was a crying god. No, he did because we can get the tears of El Mater. That's right, right? Or is that it? no? That was Lethandir. That was Lethandir, not El Mater. And it was the blood of Lethandir that was a thing, and I thought there was like self-flagellation in that one too. So I was gonna get them confused. Or was it? Oh yeah, it was Lethandir. Anyway, priest be wild in, you know? We are as adherents. Who would know better than us? Oh, I don't know. Maybe anybody? Kitchen. Visitors kindly keep to common areas. Food will be served at mealtimes. Well, we might find poison preparation in here. Or people. Hello. It will. I need a quick word. Oh, are we good? I've said all I have to say already. He's handsome. Now I just want to pack up my kitchen and leave. Um. Why are you packing up your kitchen? Soup kitchen's no good if we've no one to feed soup to. Besides, Father Logan's gone. Murdered. And now they're blaming a refugee for it. Which we all know is a setup. Uh, Do you think if anyone would want to kill him? Some folk didn't like how he looked after the refugees. But I don't think they'd kill him for well, it. I don't know, man. At least, I hope they wouldn't. That's a scary Things thought. I've been finding say otherwise. Listen, I wanted to ask you about the secret tunnels. Look, I need to I finish up it. here. Lots of soup to clean up. There are, yes, secret tunnels. How do no, I open them? Not a clue. Rivington's riddled with old smugglers' tunnels and the like. I wouldn't go poking around in them if I were do you. Do I look like somebody who was worried about that kind of thing? Anyway, that man was very handsome. I don't know what it was, but he was very handsome. Um, so this is the soup kitchen. Anything of... Oh! So I was like, where's the blood at? It's hard when the tile is red to see blood. And there wasn't like a trail of blood. Maybe this is where they pulled the bodies out of? Door, door. I'll give it a Hang shot. On, I'm gonna look. Hello? Belfry. Bell ringers only past this I point. I could be a bell ringer. Infirmary. Okay. Justice endures, All right. even in suffering. All right, I just wanted to see where these go. These are apparently outside facing doors, probably. Oh, that's a nice view. Wow! That is a nice view. What is it? Is it F11, 12, F10? Oops, I took an official screenshot. I didn't mean to. See that ship, though? That was cool. Oh, there's stuff down there. I wish I could get a better view of the mountains, but it's not like photo mode where you can like tilt the camera up at all. Very beautiful though. Look at that little ship. Okay. See, I do remember some things. Anything? Everything was soup. I can't steal it though. Oh. Oh, this must be the dormitory. Okay, well, first we're going to finish what we're doing in here. I got to follow the blood... Uh, but that's going to take me into the tunnels. Alas, off we go. We in. I'm not going to walk, just walk away from the blood trail. If we're lucky, it's a closed room, and I can go back up and investigate further. so nice having dark vision. So is this where... He's like, I don't know anything about secret tunnels. Is this where the bodies were, brother? Because, like... Anything of use? And they pulled them straight up into your kitchen? Oh. Crime, the crime scene. Wow, there's a lot... Like, there was, like... 
I mean, was he still bleeding when they dragged the body? Oh, yeah, it was supposed to be a ritualistic killing, so he killed him. Or whoever it was, they killed him ritualistically. Rites for passing. In moderate death rites, the page on the turning is particularly doggy. It will come many a time, O oh, worshipful tormented. Why would you... Apparently, El Mato was supposed, I thought El Mato was supposed to be like a, a, a harvest god of some sort, but apparently not. <laughs> you have to comfort the faith, a faithless unfortunate as they pass from this life to the next, or perhaps even more distastefully. You may be faced with a dying acolyte of a wretched god, keen to shirk the blasted afterlife awaiting. Wow, this is not a friendly cult. This is not a friendly cult. Also, you're supposed to be non-judgmental, except for in some religions, you are. the whole thing is that they're judgmental. I guess he's supposed to be a justice -y thing, too, so they might be getting up their own bums about how they're, like, the righteous justice -er types, you know. The Lord on the Rack. Wow. Hold Let me look up who El Mater is. This will, this will help inform me. According to the Forgotten Realms wiki, wow, El Mater does not look good. El Mater looks very, very unfortunate. Um... The immediate deity of endurance, martyrdom, and perseverance and suffering, known as the crying god, the rack broken lord, and the one who endures. They were the patron of suffering, oppressed, and persecuted. Well, yeah, and they'd be our refugee god. He encouraged them to endure and encouraged others to help them by taking their burdens or places. Imada was a willing sufferer, bearing the pain of others to spare them for, and it was said that if he had his way, he would do so for all the suffering in the world. So it's supposed to be compassionate. Generous and good spirited and even majored with a kind and gentle nature. So not forcing pain upon others. And not even a god of justice. But taking having his own people take the suffering of others onto them. Okay, got a tiny interruption, but yeah. So apparently El Matter is not a god of torture, but is the god of taking torture from others essentially onto himself. Lord on the rack grants us many powers, but altering the moral velocity of the soul is one we can't, what a way to say that, it is the one we cannot shift on the deathbed. If one is of the life of sin, their soul is bound for a sinful place, no matter their final protestations. However, it would do much more harm than good to tell them this. El Mater does not forget, forbid the lying, does not forgive lying, no matter how polite society deems the act. If it would spare the dying wretch from suffering as they pass, tell them the weeping god awaits them with his bombing embrace. Make them believe. Whatever torment their soul bears in the realms beyond, it remembers not their body. So spare them at least this final passing moment of emergency. That seems so disingenuous. Interesting. On the Weary by Father Lorgan. Uh, writings on despondency. Perhaps the heart of suffering to ail is that which dulls but does not pain. Weariness sits within one's soul, but it casts its miring net across the surface, dampening all errant thoughts and feelings in its wake. Malaise of this sort can rot the heart from dying. Ooh. If left to fester, but it must be extricated carefully. Above all else, the weary soul knows itself better than you can. Do not condescend, do not assume, do not impose. Simply avail yourself as a tool to the weary. Let them know you can be used however they might need. Well, that's kind. Crime scene? Crime scene? Quarterstaff, silver glass, I'm not stealing. Place of rest, or plea of rest, and some sheet music. Where's the body of the other guy? A requesting uh, to be freed of a matter of service in the duration of 10 days, the writer mourns Father Logan. Sheet music with a loop. Ode to the oppressed in a logic. That's it here. Oh, that's where the, oh wait. That's the crime scene. Oh, those are the crypts. Let's do the crypts. Hello? Nobody get mad. Perception? A crypt. This must be where Shira Klawin is buried. Clack, clack, clack. Oh, 
don't think they would do traps here for the rest of their own people. Here lies Satida Atana, Rip. born 1411 DR, died 1485 DR. Here lies Reloric Windbane. Windbane's a sick name. Here Sister Shira died Clowen. 1486 Date of birth unknown. Died 1491 DR. Ah, uh, I didn't mean the. Darling Shira, faithful to the crying God. Long didst thy wait, only to find thine empty flesh. Gone. Thou might be, alas. <laughs> you good? Come on. Oh. Oh, and yet they will rise. Uh, are you... What up? <laughs> yeah, I was like, um... Sure. Her spirit has fled, and her body but merely a husk. <laughs> I don't think she would enjoy this. Swear I did to shed this foul mania and bestow it upon Shira. Oh. She was to endure, to suffer, as was her god Ilmata's Oh, want. you were going to be mean. Who now shall bear the madness Shah has wrought on me, so I might no longer suffer? Oh, <laughs> Shall it be thou? The the facial animations on that thing is actually terrifying and like very real moving. I was like, what? They're doing it in the like, there's like a special way to say it, but basically like, like they buried her in like a fetal position essentially, which is unusual at least for West a lot of Western people. We don't bury our bury our dead on their back generally, you know. So. But a lot of cultures do it with supine, something like that, where they're curled up on their sides. Um, ponder what you know of the monk's affliction. What are the consequences? Gah. I don't think I want to carry his affliction. Wow. It's just, uh, oh, I have two inspiration apparently. I thought I only had one. Again? Oh, uh. I'm gonna do it again. Okay. The monk himself holds your answer. Tasha's hideous laughter is a powerful skill, but earning it may come at the cost of wisdom. Nope, I need wisdom. Um, I mean, I don't know what would happen otherwise, but I don't really want to take that upon me. What happens? Thou shalt know the extent of Shah's mania, Tasha's hideous laughter at thine beck and call. I'm good. But at what cost? Who might say? <laughs> no, I don't want it. <laughs> Well, if laugh I must, let our alliance end on a lark. Yeah. Oh, what? Oh, okay, you can bring other dead. You can bring other dead. That is so very uncool of you. I think I only get to do that, though, because I'm surprised. Oh, no, we can hit him. Also, I, I mean, I don't know. I feel like most people wouldn't want their body to be possessed by their mad uncle. But maybe because she was a... Look, father, shield yourself. Oh, boy. Um, listen, buddy, you run Moving. out here. Hopefully I don't need you. Wait, if I did the cleric thing that I want to do with Gale, he should be- Yeah, I did! Ha 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 It's 
do the Beyblade. You stay out there. Can't stay idle. I'm at a disadvantage. Oh, because I'm so close. fate by any measure. Oh, well, now I feel bad. No rest for the wicked, I see. I didn't realize that he was gonna, like, I don't know, I guess, be stuck with it for eternity, you know? But, I guess what else, what other option is there, you know? Like, for, like, if for me being like, no, I don't want it, like, who's, I don't know, it just seems really unfair that, like, it wasn't his fault, right? Um, I guess I could have put it on somebody else, but... I guess I could have put it on Karlak, who doesn't really need wisdom, I think. No or Gail. No, Gail does wisdom now. I don't know. Anyway, I do feel bad. Oh well. I'm not reloading. <laughs> Gonna take all your stuff. I do also feel bad that the bodies are just out now. Like, it wasn't their fault. And their bodies have been desecrated by this guy. But I don't really blame him either because, you know, it would be really terrible. Where did it go, though? Spirit possessed Shira's body. We refused to take his madness, putting a stop to him. Instead, his spirit will forever remain cursed. Well, oh, yeah, I feel bad. <laughs> and I, as a paladin, I was like, I bet you I would do it. But as a player, I was like, I don't want my wisdom to be torqued. Oh, well. We did what we thought we had to do. I don't think I'm was wisdom caster though. I mean, I think I, it's like it's like charisma and strength. I think are the big ones for paladins, but because we're charisma casters, I think Gale are clerics wisdom casters. Your desire. Let's see what is the. Yeah, so he would have been a bad one. For that poor guy, his I had to drop his intelligence as a as a former wizard. I guess that's why. Okay, that's it. All right. Like I'm like, oh, my wizard's got such a high health bar. It's because he's a cleric now. He's not a wizard. <laughs> Yikes! He's not wearing shoes, my boy. I didn't give him shoes. I don't like electrifying the water. Making me sweat. Oh my gosh! I didn't give him shoes. We aren't like what rolling in shoes, really, it seems. Excellent choice. Okay, he can wear these. There you go, gal, not walking around barefoot like a maniac. It's not as bad as it could have. Alright, I guess I should probably No, we're gonna keep going with this. I was like I should probably call it, but also this is apparently This is the crime Never scene. The easy path. Over here? Oh, that's right. There's like secrets. There's like a there's like secret tunnels. Okay, hang on. Let's walk in here. Wait, I I knew I walked over here. 
It's that something in there. That heraldic sign. Let's see what's in here, though. Trap. Ooh, Be cautious. I don't have anybody here who's trappy. Let's march. Carlax, my nest. Uh, disarm. Hmm. Oh! <laughs> gonna have to roll really high. Nope. I should have backed everybody off. Oh, the house is gonna blow up. Woo! Oh, okay, sick. Saved. I don't know why, but I did. Can't I just break it? Yeah, I, you know, darling, you would hope. Oh my gosh, that was so incredibly lucky. It's actually unreal. Just wait till we tell Asterion that you've unlocked a level 20 elixir of viciousness. The number you need to roll to land a critical hit is reduced by one. Let me, okay, I was like, let me send this to Asterion. It will. Miracles in the outer sea. Air quotes. A record, a record of alleged miraculous phenomena in the outskirts of Potter's Gate attributed to El Matter. Customer Gildo Elgarian, oh, that's the guy I knocked out, reckons he healed up mighty quick from a painful forge burn. Asked if El Matter has something to do with the irksome, talkative gent outside Carmen's powerful agent of suffering. Soup still showing up at refugee camp even after temporal closed kitchen. Curious. Man's hands tied together in horse reins claimed he's a holy symbol. Manip Nestor reports feeling close to his duty since relocation to refugee camp. Okay. Oh! Are you? Close to his duty since relocation to refugee camp. A serial killer in a refugee camp would be like a cat among the pigeons. The would-be saint. We looked at the story of a patriarchal woman who gave up her fortune to become a cleric of a matter in service to the outer city and now seeks to be canonized. You can't ask for that. Isn't that something you ask for? I don't know anything about Catholicism, really, but that feels like a thing, like, which is similar to this, right? Like, sanctified, you know? Uh, I feel like you can't just ask for that. You gotta, like, do something, and then other people, like, vote you in as a saint, you know? Herein is a true account of my bid to be canonized after my death as Saint Bridget of Ilmatter, the broken god, he of compassion and mercy, the one who endures. I lived the blessed life of every privilege a patriarch woman can fathom. My parents were loving and generous, my community warm, our Lara was always full to bursting. But in the years after the death of Saravok, my eyes were open to the world as it is, a world of pain and danger, a world where evil, if left unchecked, can thrive. I realized that my blessings had a cost. Why had I so much where others had so little? I could no longer remain in the gilded Elysium of the upper city and sought to see the world as it truly is. Yeah? That's it? Okay. Ooh. Thanks. Scroll of dominate person. Holy water. Give me holy water. I'll tell you what, guys. One of my favorite... Um... Souvenirs that I got in Italy is a two was a two euro bottle of holy water that I got from a church out that was just outside or just next to the Trevi Fountain, and I was just tickled pink that you could buy holy water, which seems like a thing you shouldn't be able to buy necessarily, but like if it if it does as it's purported to do, right? And I part of me was like, no, I'm ready for vampires also. Like, I don't know. It's just like, holy water to me is such a, like, a video game thing that I was just like, ooh! And to get, like, the real version of it, which I never grew up with anything that had, like, holy water type stuff. And I was like, that's wild, you know? And so I was just tickled pink, honestly. I have it in Sunnista Gale. It's hanging up. No, not hanging up. It's it's posted up on a little shelf. And it's got a sticker and everything. Like for the cathedral, Trevi Fountain. And if I read the sign right, it said the water came from the Trevi Fountain, which is hilarious because that water can kill people. It's so, like, contaminated with nasty things. My Airbnb host said that there was a couple guys that he knew that, that didn't know you couldn't drink the water out of the fountains. They were in Rome for six days, and they went to the Trevi Fountain the first day, and they spent the next six days or so being holed up in the Airbnb, basically having dysentery, and they had to go to the hospital. 
And they had to go to the hospital because, the, yeah, he was like, the guy was like, yep, they had to go to the hospital and then they had to stay in the Airbnb because uh, they drank that water. And I was like, I guarantee you that thing's full of dysentery. You used to be able to drink out of the uh, fountains. That's how the, oh, the ancient Romans did it. But nowadays that water is just recycled. Um, like, you're not recycled. It's just like kind of recycled through like the trevi fountain itself and so people spit in it or pee in it or whatever birds you know it's just it's just all in there they don't filter it let's see so we pressed a button i guarantee you it's going to open up in here i wonder if i have to light these braziers eh not not zelda okay hmm yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Alright, what's the spoiler? A blood trail ran into a secret passage. We should follow it to find more evidence. Okay. Whoopsie. Excuse me? Noises? We gained experience. I got scared. Shabby wooden doors. I'm cheating. I'm cheating. I'm looking ahead. And I don't want to get like caught up too much in something down here, but we in it to win it now, you know? I can always go back up and explore more, I hope. <laughs> I say. <laughs> Probably don't need Halston as a distraction down here. I am ready. Whatever may come. No, I'll keep him. Unless I need him to change out of this shape into something else. We'll keep him as our cat. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and call this one here. Our little investigation. I do love investigatory stuff in video games. As long as it's well done. And like, you gotta figure out clues for yourself. And the game doesn't just hand you everything. It's fun. I really enjoyed, for example, the ball section in Dragon Age Inquisition. Where you had to be like all political and sneaky. But they did. They're like, you have to be elegant and subtle. And don't do anything crazy. And literally in the next ten minutes, you're supposed to like climb a trellis in front of everybody in the main, like, garden. So it's like, mm, cause that got that got me stumped, and I actually had to look up what to do because I didn't know what to do on the ground floor, and I was trying, like it was like, oh, you can climb a trellis, but I was like, oh, I have to wait till nobody's here or something. Uh, no, you just have to climb the trellis in front of everybody and screw Josephine, I guess, for telling us to be, you know, subtle and not shenaniganery. Anyway, thank you all so much for joining me. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons. First, I want to give a shout out to my Acorn Tier patron. Thank you so much, Fame, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to my Sapling Tier patron, Risco Lido. Thank you so much for your support. I very much appreciate it as well. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my Forest Tier patron, who has truly gone above and beyond in his support of me and the channel. And I truly cannot thank you all enough. Um, so thank you all again. And I will see you in the next one.